Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to put your screensaver to your desktop. I have put another video up, but this is a better version and you won't need to use terminal this time. As you can see, I've got my screensaver or a live, or a live background that can move. So, first you would need to go to your internet and download something called Wallsaver. I'll put the link into the description for you. There you go. There. Wait. Go to Wall Saver app. Okay, download. Keep. There we are. Because I've already got it, I won't need to install it. So, once you've done that. Uh, to get some of these cool ones, you can just go down, load them from the internet. I've got something called Electric Sheep that has screensavers for it. So that's one of my screensavers, and it just changes through many. I'll put the link in the description for that one, and this link where you can download the different screensavers for Electric Sheep. So, when you've done that, you'd need to go to Finder when you've downloaded your screensaver go to your thing go to the library scroll down until you find screensavers and drop your screensaver in here if your electric sheep one doesn't work put electric sheep app in here and put your electric sheep saver in there as well to get the electric sheep, sheep savers to work you need to go to this one, go to library, application support, um, electric sheet, content, and put them into your MPEG. And that will install it into electric sheet. Once you've got all these, you go to system preferences desktop and screensaver screensaver and the ones that you've installed should be down the bottom in under others so at the moment I'll put that as my thing uh, so at the moment it's changed because I've changed my screensaver so that's my screensaver at the moment you need to go to wall saver when you've installed it go to preferences Go choose and choose the, uh, the one that you want. So you've got it there now. So at the moment, you've got use wall, wall saver to set your screensaver. That's the only one you need. Then go activate, and there we are. You can close this, and you've got your screensaver as your desktop. Hope you hope this helped, and thanks for watching. Please comment if you have any issues. See you in the next video.